So Dreamsville is a very interesting record in terms of the way it came about. My good friend Steve Lyman was recording his album, Revolver, and he had Julian Pollock playing, playing keys, he had Chris Tordini playing bass, Kenji on guitar, and Steve on drums. And they were recording at Mike Green's studio. Mike, Mike Green had a studio for a while, the sound engineer, called Rotosonic Sound. And they were recording there. It was a cool studio. I really like that studio. I'm sorry it's not there anymore. And in return for me uh, basically providing room and board for Julian Pollock, Steve gave me a co-producer credit on the record and, and, and license to come to, this, to the session and, and hang out. And I had already worked with Julian and Chris before on Chase Baird's record, Cross Current, uh, which I produced. And so that's Chase Baird's debut album. And, and so I was excited to see those guys again. So I came down to the studio and as I, as I got there, they were finishing up the last tune. And so they were way ahead of schedule. And I was, you know, I started asking questions, you know, well, so when do you guys fly out? And, you know, <laughs> cause I'm, my, my, my wheels are, are spinning. And, and finally I just said, well, Hey, um, what are you guys doing tomorrow? <laughs> you know, you want to make a record? Like we could just play some ballads, you know? And, you know, I ran it by Steve and I ran it by the guys and they all agreed on a price that would be fair and like, okay, well, yeah, we can spare, you know, three hours. I think it was three hours or four hours or five hours or something. It was a very short amount of time. So next day we go in and, uh, and I just picked seven tunes. They were all ballads except one, uh, Wave, the Jobim tune, which we did sort of like Ahmad Jamal's version. And um, yeah, most of them are either first or second takes. I mean, the entirety of the record is either first or second takes. And it's just, uh, it's, it's a testament to the incredible musicianship, particularly of Julian Pollock and, and, and Chris Tordini and Steve Lyman. Um, I mean, they made my job super easy. And we recorded some really great tunes. Matt and Kel sang in Barclay Square, Dream a Little Dream of Me, Tenderly, Wave, The Peacocks, um, and we recorded Dreamsville by Henry Mancini. And somehow, Dreamsville ended up on the Coffee Table Jazz playlist on Spotify, which has 1.5 million subscribers, and is now up to roughly 3 million streams on Spotify. Um, so that's wonderful <laughs> because the album was conceived literally one day before it was recorded and the musicians were all basically sight reading the songs <laughs> so for for an album like that to to capture the number of streams that it, it it has received is i just feel very fortunate very lucky uh and very blessed that that song somehow made it onto the playlists that it made it. I think right now it's on 58 different playlists on Spotify, but that one, I think it's that coffee table jazz playlist that really put it over the top. I mean, it's getting, it's averaging about 5,000 streams a day right now, <laughs> which is just absurd. But, uh, but Hey, check it out. Dreamsville, the title cut, you know, and it's such a great song. That's such a beautiful song. One of the, one of the best ballads ever written in my opinion. 